Here is a house. This, this man, is Joe, and this is Joe's house. Joe has a neighbour. There's a house next to his house, and Joe's neighbour lives in that house. It's his house, the neighbour's. The neighbour's name is Fred. This is Fred's house. He is Joe's neighbour. One day, one day, Fred's house burns down. There's a fire, a fire, and Fred's house burns to the ground. It's gone. Fred doesn't have a house anymore. It burned down. Luckily, luckily, Fred had insurance. There was a company, a company, an insurance company, and Fred was regularly, regularly paying money, a small amount of money, to this company to insure his house so that when the fire happened, when Fred's house burned, burned down, the insurance company paid Fred money, but a lot of money. They paid him a lot of money so that he could buy, buy a new house so that he could rebuild, rebuild his house, build, build a new house with the money from the insurance company. That's, that's insurance. You have insurance against bad things happening, like a fire. Things that only have a very small chance, very small chance of happening. But when they do happen, it's not good. So Fred's house burned down, but he had, he had insurance that covered the house, that covered it against fires. So he got money to rebuild. But Joe also got money. Ah, of course, the fire, the flames were so big, so big that they spread over, they went over to Joe's house and burnt his house down. And Joe also had insurance on his house. So it's the same. Both houses burned down because the flames, the fire was so big and it jumped, jumped from Fred's roof to the roof of Joe's house. No, no. Joe's house is still standing. It didn't, it didn't burn down. The fire didn't leap, didn't jump across to Joe's house. So why, why did Joe get money from the insurance company? He doesn't have to rebuild his house. Joe had insurance. He also paid a little bit of money regularly to the insurance company. This is what Fred paid and this is what Joe paid. But Joe wasn't insuring his own house. He was insuring Fred's house. What? So that if something bad happens to Fred's house, Joe gets money. 
This is Joe's neighborhood. These are his neighbors, all the other houses around him, near his house, his neighborhood. And recently, this is now, now, recently, it's been a bit strange. A lot of the houses have been catching on fire in Joe's neighborhood. A lot of the houses have been burning down. Not, not Joe's house, the other houses. And Joe has been making a lot of money because Joe had insurance. He had insurance on lots of different houses that weren't his. And each time one of these houses burnt down, Joe got money. He's, he's very rich now. Joe has a lot, a lot of money. He's rich. Joe's also rebuilding, rebuilding his house, but not, not because it burnt down, just because he has a lot of money. He wants, he wants a bigger, a bigger house, a mansion. He's building a mansion with all the insurance money. This isn't how it works in the real world. You can't take out insurance on other people's houses because if you, if you get a lot of money when something bad happens to someone else's house, like it burning down to the ground, then you have an incentive. You, like Joe, will want, want to do the bad thing. You'll want to burn down, to set fire, to set fire to other people's houses. So you make lots of money. It's not something that happens in the real world. At least not for people like Joe or people like Fred or people, I think, like you or me. We can't do this with our houses. It's too, it's too obvious, obvious, obvious that this is a bad idea. If people can make money when bad things happen. But in finance, in the stock market, where stocks are sold and bought, this sort of thing does happen. The big financial crash, crash in 2008, happened for different reasons, but this sort of thing was one of them. Not because of house insurance, but because of insurance for stocks. If the price, the value of your stock is going down, you can buy insurance against this. So if this happens, if you lose value in your stock, something bad, you get a payment from an insurance company. And like Joe in this story, the crazy, the crazy thing is that other people can buy insurance for stocks that they don't have. It's not their stock. They can buy insurance for stocks that other people have. 
so that when something bad happens, they don't lose money. They don't lose the money of the bad stock going down, but they get money from the insurance. So there's only a positive and no negative. So it's an incentive. It makes you want, want to make something bad happen, to cause, to cause things to go bad. Did you understand what I was talking about in this video? Or was it too, too complicated? Tell me in the comments below. All right, see ya. Did you like this video? If you want, you can help me to make more videos. You can support me on Patreon. The link is in the description below.